Hello fellow humans and terrarians and welcome to Terraria. I am Artemu and more specifically welcome to the world of Lunera. This is going to be an expert mode playthrough on a medium core character which I have aptly named Artemu as that is who I am. I used to be known as Purple Alpaca Coding if you are uh, from the older era of me but I am no longer. You can call me Artemu now. And I am excited to play some Terraria with you all. I have been longing to do a proper playthrough for quite a bit, and I think medium core on expert mode difficulty is just about where I want to be. Uh, I have created this world uh, with the intention of taking it slow. I know that it's really, really hip right now to play games in a really fast manner and get as much done as you can as quickly as possible and do things like that, but I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's a necessarily in my wheelhouse kind of deal. And I like taking things a little slowly. So that's what I'm going to be doing and you're going to see uh, pretty much all of the decisions I make in my world, what I'm going to choose to build and uh, what farms I create and how those things work and you know, so on and so forth. Uh, before we get too far in, uh, I want to say, uh, how is this like resolution working for you all? I like to play pretty zoomed in usually. Uh, I can zoom out to here. Uh, I usually do this when I'm exploring or something, uh, but eh, keep it around here, I think. Should be good for now. Uh, I'm going to do what normal people do on their first day of Terraria and just build a simple tiny little hut just to serve the guide and uh, any of our goodies we have. Uh, because we are playing on medium cork uh, difficulty for our character, that means we drop our items when we die. What does that mean for the Terraria playthrough? It means that it's going to probably be a little bit more grindy, I guess. And also we're going to have to have better infrastructure throughout our world. We can't rely uh, solely on, um, you know, the normal things you find in Terraria. Always respawning with all of your items and whatever. So when we do decide to venture out into the world and uh, properly give it a good explore, we need to be prepared that, hey, what we take out into the world, we're not necessarily gonna be able to get back. Um, so that forces us to play quite differently than normal, such as having additional equipment that you may have just in storage, ready to go, just to do the death fetch quest. <laughs> But I'm just about finished building this little hut here and I'm gonna kill a couple of these slimes to get some torches going and then there was that cave over to the left of us. Uh, I don't know if it goes anywhere, you know, starting cave right by the entrance usually doesn't, but he knows it may have a, a good chest or two we can get going. It's purple slime though. There we go. Easy peasy. We'll make a couple of torches. Uh, we need to get some wooden chair in here. I think that's all good. Do we have anything that we can make? A wooden sword? Kind of like the copper short sword, but I'll switch it out for now just because it's a meme. Good modifier for our pickaxe to start with. And then I don't have anything else to do. Right, we'll make some of these. So we don't have to take fall damage all the time. That's not a regular slime, that's a bunny. <laughs> it's Halloween. Uh, Halloween-esque. I'm playing in October, so it's not actually Halloween Halloween. But there are, you know, the events going on. Ooh, let's go. First golden chest right at the start here. We got a magic mirror, which is always a fun thing to have. I'm gonna try to limit my use of the magic mirror. Uh, because it kind of defeats the point the point of um, playing a medium core character, right? I want to be able to create my world such that I can travel to and from places relatively easily and quickly um, without needing to rely so much on, you know, magic mirrors or uh, recall potions or anything. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> if you were playing Minecraft, this would be very fun. <laughs> Nine diamonds right off the bat. There you go. Let's see what else is down here. I want to get some iron. I need some stone. And then we can make our way back to the surface. Okay, first life crystal. Easy, easy. Looking like a good seed so far. Uh, 
I did show off the world's creation. Uh, if you wanted to copy the seed and play along or discover its secrets and spoil it for me, whatever. <laughs> Go ahead, I'm not gonna listen to any spoilers, but you, you can do you. Uh, but if you just like the seed, you can also just play along. All right, we have, ooh, we'll grab this statue here. Pressure plate, don't know what it's for. I'm guessing it's a trap up there. Let's see down here, anything good? I don't want to venture too deep because I don't want to use this, uh, my magic mirror if I don't have to. Fortunately, this has been easy going inside of the cave and I've been lighting up as I go. So if I do make a mistake and I do die or uh, what have you, I can get back here pretty quickly. And it's the getting out of the cave is going to be a little bit more difficult. <laughs> All right, I'm going to see, is there anything down here? Ow. Ow, don't do that. 60 damage. That's a trap there. Eh, I don't feel like going very much further than that. I'm gonna just grab this iron here, grab a little bit of stone, and then make my way back to the surface and get us started. Fortunately, I did find an anvil in that house there, so that's a nice bonus. Uh, nothing really else too much of use, uh, just because, you know, magic mirror. <laughs> I don't want to keep explaining it, but whatever. Let's see, do I have any rope? No rope? I can make web rope. That'll be fine for now. Um, I don't want to do too, too much because I do want to have uh, beds in different places in the world. That'll just help with the medium coreness of it. All right, back to the surface we go and uh, I'm gonna plant some trees probably. So I can get some wood going and uh, just explore the rest of the surface with my newfound tools. Some bombs are nice. I'll eat this life crystal just for some extra survivability. Oh, nice, so far so good. And this rope will help uh, for return trips as well, I'm sure. <laughs> is this uh, silver? It is. I'll toss a couple of bombs down here. I'll have to manually mine that all. Easy peasy. Good, 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 nice. All right. That should be enough for uh, something or other. <laughs> I'm never really, I don't really play too much with the ore just because, you know, I am, I play fast and playing medium core hopefully should limit that at least a little bit. Right, taking the big long rope over. Platforms, can I not place a platform? There we go. Aha, blue slime, get out of my way. <laughs> Back to the surface I go, it's so far away! It probably was a mistake to come down here. Eh, I don't think so. We did get some good use of bombs and we got some stone. Where's our stone? Somewhere around here. There it is. We got 25 blocks. That's enough for a furnace uh, to get us started. Okay, and it's not fully nighttime yet, so that's a bonus. I don't have to worry too too much about monsters. But I built right by spawn anyway, so who really is the, the fool now? Alright, furnace got. Let's see, anvil placed. Then we can get some of these silvers. We can make a silver short sword. It's better than our uh, copper one. Then iron. I don't want to throw away the copper short sword because I think we're going to need it later on for who knows what. The uh, legendary weapon, the zenith or something. No idea. Haven't made it. <laughs> Make some more torches and we'll be good there. All right, sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and plant some of these trees and journey on this away. Oh wait, what's, what's our guide's name? Jacob. Welcome to Lunera, Jacob. <laughs> I am also new here. Okay, let's see. Is there anything around this way? A couple of bunnies. Not too much to worry about. I just wanted to explore a little bit before nighttime fully sets in. That's a horrible bridge. <laughs> it's probably my worst one yet. Some water down there. Pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins. It's nice to play during October so you can get the pumpkins and the uh, other goodies. They can get goodie bags. Ooh, blowpipe. All right. I'm probably never going to use that, but it's a nice addition to have. <laughs> I guess, you know, if I uh, end up, you know, hitting the bucket or whatever, then I can uh, use the blowpipe to get myself back to my gear. But we're going to see where this takes us, because I know living trees go pretty deep. There we go. And look, another chest too. 
Ooh, this the seed is loaded. You should play it as well. And we get a trident? Goodness. That's really good. <laughs> and it's a demonic a modifier too. We get a little shark bait. Cute. Alright, we're gonna take this chest. Probably cut our uh not our losses. Cut our winnings here. Head back up to the surface. Fight our way back to the uh starting area. I wanna get I'm so greedy in this game, like, I see a shiny thing and I'm like, ooh, shiny, I must get the shiny, but, alright, I'm gonna make it this head back and, uh, start to think about how I want my starting house to be, I haven't thought about it too, too much, I'll see you when I get there. Ah, the gnome, get out of here, <laughs> scared me, <laughs> I've been gnomed, uh, oh my goodness. Hooray! The guide has successfully liked his home. <laughs> Probably gonna kick him out of here at some point. There's pumpkin pie! Oh, yeah, delicious! <clears throat> That'll help my boost in building. <laughs> oh, this trident is so good! Look at it! Just dispatch these zombies! Amazing get right off the bat. Usually, to get the. This a weapon this good, you have to like go all the way to the ocean, but oh, right at the surface pretty much. That's gonna be so easy for Earthy Game. <laughs> oh diamond toilet! Well, I know what we're using those diamonds for. Look at this beastie. It's so shiny. It's sparkling. And it makes little poos! What? <laughs> what are the poos for? <laughs> My pumpkin pie! No! Alright, well I know what, what those do now. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, diamond toilet. Oh, I'm gonna add you. Oh, 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 check this one out. I'm gonna just open the door and cream all three of these zombies. Like it's butter. <laughs> I like this trident. Oh. That's another thing about Terraria, is there's this huge, like, culture about being a single, like, class or something. Oh my goodness. I recently just got a couple of puppies, and it sounds like they're having a difficult time today. Aw, poor puppies, I don't know if you can hear them barking up a storm. <laughs> but since I'm in really not that big of a danger uh, at nighttime with my, true, my new trident so shiny, uh, I'm gonna just spend a little bit of nighttime journeying around. I thought that was something far worse. <laughs> I had no idea what this was. <laughs> what it, what costume is that? Is it a bat person? Cyborg? No idea. Halloween is great. Thank you, Terraria. But I would just want to see uh, if there's the snow biome in this direction, or if the uh, jungle is in this direction. I think that's how like they're on opposite sides snow and jungle in Terraria worlds. can't remember, but we, I just want to explore around because we might be able to find a really cool area that we can build in or something along that. But out of my way, demon eyes, and apologies that I uh, don't always have my torch out. I know Terraria is a really, really dark game and not having that sometimes is just a drag. This seems pyramid shaped. Oh, puppy. Okay, I'm gonna go see what's up. <laughs> my my one opportunity to get to actually use the magic mirror is because my dogs are barking. Okay, I'll be <laughs> BRB. There is nothing to fear anymore. I, uh, she was just barking at the reflection in the, uh, the window. <laughs> Poor girl. But, uh, thinking, you know, I just put some extra stuff away that I don't need quite yet. We've got plenty of rope now. We've got some bombs. I think it's time to do a little exploring around in this cave here. Uh, we got a little bit down, but you know, it's time to go further, deeper, even further beyond. <laughs> and you know, it's a good excuse to use these ropes and things that I've left behind. Um, that could be a good place for some fishing over there if I get the chance to. Uh, I want some more iron, so I'm going to use this bomb to get it. Because who mines, right? Especially with you got a crappy demonic copper pickaxe <laughs> and we're gonna zoom on down here see how well it does oh the trident is so good 
Yeah, I don't have to get any other weapons for quite a while. I think this trident is gonna serve me quite well. At least, you know, uh, until I die, <laughs> and then I'm being forced to use something else. Uh, but, you know, if I find something a little bit better than that, it'll be a good weapon to fall back to. It has good reach. I don't have to worry too much about getting that close to my enemies. By that said, I am taking some damage, but no worries. I'm hoping that I can get um, more... Oh, I have to disable this trap. I want, obviously, more like loot. So finding a couple of chests would be good. Something uh, like... Mm -hmm. What am I looking for, exactly? I would love to... Ooh, good catch. Uh, I would love to get information accessories. There's al those are always nice. Um, uh, because one of my rules, oh, we're right by the uh, start of the underground, by the way. That's how you can tell. Uh, not one of my rules, but I want to try to limit my use of recall potions, right? And magic mirror. But there's not a restriction on the cell phone. So, if I can get every piece of informational accessory and whatever, then that'll be a nice bonus to have. Uh, but, you know, that's a long time away from now because I think you have to get into hard mode anyway after defeating the first of... Not the first, the second mandatory boss of the game? I can't remember, but... Ooh, platinum in this world! Instead of gold! Let's go! It's a nice find. Oh, I'm so... I was so tempted to use my magic mirror, but I know I can't. What is this astronaut? Look at this skeleton over here. <laughs> Looking like Neil Armstrong. Neil A. Alien. Look it up. Uh, I think you can get, like... Ooh, yikes. I think you can get, like, hooks from these guys, or, like, yo-yos would be a good help. Mining potion. I kind of want to save for when I actually do some mining. Come on, this darkness is annoying. I know there's a mushroom biome somewhere around here. It'd be good to get some mushrooms uh, for potions and, you know, I think it looks cool. They glow and stuff, so it'll be good. I'm gonna try to find it. Oh, <laughs> alien attack! <laughs> that's, that's pretty funny. I think Terraria actually has aliens, so he's cosplaying as something that actually exists. <laughs> it's good, unless, you know, Aliens exist in our world, too. But there's certainly not gentlemen! Oh no. I'm just not gonna deal with them. Yo, but mushrooms! Nice! Alright, we'll pick up some of these mushrooms. Maybe there'll be a mushroom house or two, and we'll be really set off there. Huzzah, mushroom biome! You are now mine for the taking. <laughs> these, of course, are mushroom trees, so you can use your axe on them. And, uh, you can get a lot of little glowing mushrooms. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them. I think... I, do they make health potions? Or are they regen potions? I, I don't know. I don't really devolve too much into potions, but, you know, I guess I gotta for medium core and expert mode. I, uh, <laughs> always seem to not do so well with expert mode. Oh, was that Shelly? Ooh, he's, he's insane. The Shelly jumps so much. Okay, there is a chest down here. Uh, awesome bombs down. Out of here, Shelly. Aha, Salamander. You cannot handle my bombs. Shelly, go away. <laughs> I've never seen a Shelly that aggressive. All right, there's no traps that I can see, so that's good. And let's open up this chest over here. How's it going, Black Slime? All right. We've got an annoying breathing reed. How fitting. <laughs> and a, a ghost? There's ghosts in here now? When did they add ghosts into this game? <laughs> I haven't been keeping up with the updates. Alright, now let's see. Is there anything else around here worth keeping? I'm hoping for a house of some kind for another chest, but if I can't find that, I'm gonna try to make my way back up to the surface. Hopefully without dying. Uh, the big word there, hopefully. Eee. Wee, ouch, 20 damage. But good news, there is a house down here. It's a really dark one too. Without a chest? Are you joking? No, I see it, it's down here. <laughs> Alright. 
Dude, we got shoe spikes and a mushroom variety hat. We're toad. We've become toad. <laughs> uh, I'll keep this on for uh, this episode, I guess. I, I don't know what my vanity desires are, but this can be it for now. And if you hate it, let me know and I can change. Ooh, good thing I had potions. All right, heading back up to the surface, hopefully unscathed. See, easy peasy. Who even needs recall potions? Not this guy. All right, well, I'm gonna have to call it here. I know I didn't do a whole ton, but such is the way of being slow, I guess. I hope you all enjoyed watching, and I hope you will indulge me in watching another one, maybe two, three, who knows? I haven't made them yet, but I will. Ha 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 ha. With that being said, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day or night or whatever. Sit on the diamond toilet with me as I bid you adieu. Again, I am Artemu, and I'll see you next time. Take care.